Our aim then is to advance chemical and energy solutions that contribute to a thriving planet, society and enterprise. What does this mean for us? Essentially, it's about providing chemicals and energy in a responsible way. Secondly, respecting people and communities, their safety and the environment. And then thirdly, contributing to the socio-economic development of the countries and communities in which we operate. This leads us to talk about four focus areas. The first one is resilience in a low carbon future. Resilience, a business model that is successful and acknowledges the challenges and responses that we need to make to climate change. It's about being here tomorrow and in the medium term and in the long term. That's what we mean by resilience. It's about ensuring that we have safe and enduring operations operating platforms that effectively deliver on our commitment. Thirdly, minimizing our enviro environmental footprint across the board. Last but not least, about growing shared value. So what are we in the company doing about this? Climate change is a risk to our long-term resilience. As you heard Bernard say, this is a key issue for us. So to ensure this, we need to mitigate that risk. Our report shows you how we are going to do this. Firstly, let's really talk about what is the context within which we operate. So we support the Paris Agreement. We commit to a climate change transition. We are going to transition our operations from where we are today to a different business model that is more sustainable into the long term. We accept the scientific basis. As Bernard said, we are not questioning this. Science is what we're basing this on. We can feel what's happening. As a significant emitter, I can't stress this enough, this is a journey. This is a first step for us. We've put out our accelerated path. Like Bernard said, we have been doing climate change management from the early 2000s. We brought in gas, we transformed our operations, but now we need to do more. We recognize that we need to do more, and this is what this is. Climate change is a group top risk. It has been so for a number of years, but really it has now got strength and governance. I'm going to get to that just now and talk to you about what we are doing in this regard and why there's so many of us sitting here today. Um, scenario analysis underpins this. We do this to understand the future. The future can unfold in different ways. So we need to know what is going to happen and how to proactively mitigate that risk. So everything we're telling you is underpinned by scenario analysis. Our preliminary work has indicated that our coal-based operations are not resilient. So we are putting in place a framework and approach to deal with those coal-based operations. That's very important for us. We are looking to mitigate that risk. We can't do this without recognizing we operate in a developing country. In aligning to the Paris Agreement, the Paris Agreement also recognizes developing country views and the national context. So it's critically important that we understand that we have to do this in a balanced way. It is not simply just reducing emissions, it's also about reducing emissions while transforming the economy, looking at jobs, poverty alleviation, and growing this economy. So everything we do is taking all of these factors into account, and therefore we've got a structured approach. We're coming out with more information over time as we do the analysis ourselves. This is not a short-term initiative where we flip a switch. It isn't at all. We are looking at the long term. And to do this, we are going to play a leadership role in using our capabilities hallmark of innovation. That is what we're known for. We're going to use this, take this forward, partner. We are partnering to work with our communities, with you, with stakeholders around how we do this. We're going to talk about it. It is a journey so that we all transition together because we all need to act.